have another tiny home that is for sale today. It is located in Newport, Tennessee at the incredible tiny home community. This particular home is already set up as an Airbnb and is a great investment property. Welcome to Rhinestones and Wrinkles, the ultimate destination for all things related to tiny home living. This has been on um, Airbnb for four years. It's been quite successful. The owner has never lived here. She's just used it as a, a uh, Airbnb property and she's just ready to retire from all of that. So she's selling it. 9 by 28, lots and lots of beautiful windows. The outdoor set with umbrella stays. The shed is not part of the deal. This would be your parking space. Of course, you have your Mitsubishi mini split. Look at all the windows. Oh, you're going to love the inside of this one. They call this the Big Gray. That's how it's known on Airbnb. If you want to look, and I am going to put the Airbnb listing up for everyone so that you can see it. If you choose to um, invest in this as an Airbnb, or you might want to uh, live in it yourself. It is on the property and there is no key money associated with this one. So let's go in and see how beautiful this is. Nice and cool. All right. I'll do a little pan through first. Two double lofts with a catwalk. But you can just move the ladder too if you would like um, for that. I'm going to put all of the specifics in the description of the video as to what stays, but mostly everything does stay. If there's something you don't want, it can be removed by the owner before you take possession. So just keep that in mind. This is built in. The two bar stools stay. Look how sweet that is. So that would be a nice working surface or, you know, dinner or sewing or any kind of projects, right? The blinds look awesome, custom. And then, you know, these are the ones that are inside the door, which is so cool for the door, for the double, for the French doors. Um, so you don't have to worry about cleaning those. Again, this is set up as an Airbnb, so you'll notice some things that you probably wouldn't even have in a personal home, but you may choose to keep it as an Airbnb. Um, there's lots of notes on it. Look at this stove. For those of you that like to cook and like to have a stove in your kitchen. Isn't that beautiful? This one was built in 2019. Uh, it was, I'm quite sure these cabinets are not matrix and they were custom made. So beautiful, beautiful wood. It is a double sink, which is very nice. This is set up like a nice, nice kitchen. Look at the size of the um, microwave. Wow, that's pretty cool too, huh? And then it does have one upper cabinet right 
here. So even the, the dishware can stay. It, it's being sold as if you were going to do it as an Airbnb. Again, if you as an owner, a new owner don't want some of this stuff, then it will be removed. Uh, all you have to do is request that, okay? But they're trying to leave it uh, ready to rent as an Airbnb. And I will leave the Airbnb listing in the video notes and description. So you will be able to see how uh, the Airbnb did and how it looked on the uh, booking site and all of that. All right, let's go into the, let's see, I'm gonna call this, I think they would call it the den. And look how beautiful that sofa is. How pretty. And this does make a bed, full bed, I believe. is such a great concept. This is one of their older models, but I love, love it. Look at the ceiling. A little bookshelf there. Using that wheel well that, you know, this is a craftsman, so we've got the triple axle. It is over here. She just used it as a um, little bookshelf. Very clever. And then, of course, you have this TV that's already mounted. What a cozy little room. I love this little room. I like all the greenery, too. Really adds a lot of life to it, even though it is a fake plant. All right, let's go back and look at the bathroom. And then we will go up and look at the double loft. So you can tell which light switch goes to which device. This is, again, I believe, oh, look how pretty this is. A closet, wow. Look, all the little cleaning supplies, place for all your goodies when you come to visit as an Airbnb. Isn't that awesome? Okay, this is a Samsung. Look at that. This is a nice fridge. Very nice. Yep. Let's see. Again, there's a lot of kitchen paraphernalia that will stay if you are wanting it to stay as a if, you, if you'd like to set it up as a an Airbnb because you know you do have to have dishes for your uh, guests and that kind of thing okay let's go into our bathroom look at this full-size tub and shower oh, I love the shower head those are the best those are so awesome what a nice, nice home. Okay, of course it is flushing toilet. This is the washer dryer hookup. If you chose to put one in here, you could do a stackable, but or a, a combo, but um, with it being an Airbnb, they have just chose to put in four drawers for storage clothing. This would be so awesome for doing your makeup. Mm-hmm. I like this. And look at the light. The light is so good in here. Good job, homeowner. Good job. All right. Lots of wall space in here. 
a very nice bathroom. Very nice for visiting guests, which is important. All right, now let's go upstairs and see the loft. Okay, look at this. So these are two chairs in this part of the loft that make into single beds. They fold out and um, this would be great for kids or, I mean, an adult could definitely sleep on them, but a kid would love these, wouldn't they? And there's also a closet up here for storage. Comes with windows and, and plenty of you know access if you needed to get out for emergencies. Look how nice. And then we have a catwalk. Just notice that fan is great the air conditioning is going here and we are it is blistering hot right now so it looks it feels awesome and then you have the queen size bed on the second loft so this could truly sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six people. This could, tr this could, this could sleep but six people. Wow, that's awesome. When you got an Airbnb, the more people you can fit in, the better. And it is a tiny home experience as well, but you still have lots of room for goodies. And you know, you have a large size fridge and double sink and a stove. Um, there's a outdoor space that you can use. She's got a storage ottoman over there as well. There's your Mitsubishi. Working hard today. Lots of windows up here so you can you know, open those and get some cross ventilation. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, I like, I like a lot. I like those chairs. I think a little kid with a book up there, wouldn't they love that? Oh, they would love that. Yep. And then you see there is a bar here that helps you get up and down and into the loft. Okay. There's also one right here. Okay, let's go back down. So I'm going to put the price on the screen here and the contact information. Also, all of this information and the um, details about who to contact, the price, and all of that will be available in the description of the video. So if you wanna tap on that, I will also add the Airbnb link. It's a great home, great Airbnb op opportunity. experience the tiny home before they maybe take the plunge and actually get one this is a great opportunity for an Airbnb and I think it was fairly um, successful too the owner has retired and she's just she's retired from everything so she doesn't live here never has lived here she just used it as an investment property and um, she's ready to move on she has not like I said she's retired so that is why we're, why we're selling here. So if you all are interested, please reach out and thank you for watching. Bye.